So this video is a continuation of examples of rings, homomorphisms and isomorphisms. So I'm going to give a third example. We are going to take the ring of all polynomials with real coefficients and we take the mapping that will take any element f of x to f of 1. You can check that this is a ring homo homomorphism from the real polynomials or polynomials with real coefficients into the real numbers. Okay, let me give you now another example. And this can be example 4. Let us take this mapping phi from x to 5x. Okay, so phi is taking um, elements from z4 to z10. Uh, please do not forget that we are talking about rings here. This is Z4, so this is Z4 under addition module 4 and multiplication module 4 taken into Z10 addition module 10 multiplication module 10. Okay. Okay. We are going to check that this is a ring homomorphism. Uh, let us uh, check first if it is well defined. Is it well defined? Well, um, let us see if it is well defined. Suppose we have two elements here from Z4. Okay, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We take two elements and we say, I have an element x, and that element is the same as element y in Z4. So if this is true, this means that x minus y will have the form in Z4, so it will have the form 4k. Okay? for some k. Of course, k has to be an integer, okay? k has to be an integer. And the mapping is 5x, right? So, 5x minus 5y should be under this one here. Okay, but doesn't matter. Um, should be equal, and it is equal to 5x minus y, right? And this should be equal to sum 4k. Okay, so I'm going to say that x minus y um, um, x minus y times 5 it will be equal to 5 times 4 times k. So this will be 20k. Right. So 20k will be in Z10. Okay. So 5x and 5... Oh, okay. Oh, this should be equal first. Okay. I see... I see. Uh, I, I was. I'm going to redo all this. I think everybody understood this, but I'm going to redo this. Never, never. Know. I hate when people jump this sort of steps and ex explanations. So I don't do the same to to the others. Okay, and I I understand it in a simple way. So I'm going to explain in the simple way I understand. So, x 
so we are in Z4 here okay we are checking if it is well defined from Z4 to Z10 this um, homomorphism we are checking if it is well defined is it well defined so we take two elements in Z4 X and we say X equals Y well that means X minus Y will be in Z4 in order to be in Z4 it has to have the form 4k okay but this one will be 5x so now in Z10 if I take 5x equals 5y it will be 5x minus 5y right and this one will be 5 times x minus y but we said that x minus y is 4k it is 4k now it is multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 so this will be 20k right and 20k is in z10 right and a number in the form 20 times k is uh, in Z10. Conclusion? Well, conclusion F yes is well defined. I kept saying F but it is phi, right? Phi. Phi is well defined. Okay. Well, now that we saw that this is well defined, the rest is really a matter of some uh, quick uh, calculations like phi of let us take two elements x plus y phi of x plus y so this is 5x right so this will be 5 uh, x plus y right okay this is 5x plus 5y yes and this clearly is phi of x plus phi of y right so this one okay so there is no problem with addition and what about phi of xy um, oh this should be phi here so phi of xy should be um, 5 times 5 of xy right and this is clearly phi of x times phi of y okay so multiplication is preserved addition is preserved okay so the mapping that is from z4 to z10 uh, I don't like this notation that takes um, well I'm, I don't like but I'm going to use it that takes x to 5x okay this is clearly a ring homomorphism homomorphism okay another example let us imagine we have a ring R with uh, characteristic 2 so the mapping that takes a to a squared is clearly a ring homomorphism from the ring to the same ring okay okay and the last example uh, I'm going to call it 7 uh, I think you remember we're taking the um, the even integers under addition so we had we the, the even integers under addition and we had the, the integers under addition and as a group they were isomorphic okay 
as additive groups they are isomorphic but here we are talking about rings okay and the ring of as rings the even integers is not isomorphic to the ring of integers okay the ring of even integers is not isomorphic to the ring of integers they do not have the same structure at all for instance the integers they have a, a, a multiplicative identity and that doesn't happen here okay so they if you find a fit a feature or a characteristic in a ring and the other ring doesn't have that same characteristics they can't be isomorphic okay